This is Alex from phpacademy.org and this video created for the new Boston is going to talk you through uh, PHP while loops. Now why do we use loops in the first place as programmers? Now we may need to repeat a certain amount of actions a specified amount of times and um, in a couple of these videos I'm going to be talking about uh, while loops and then do while loops and then we're going to go on to for loops as well. So what do we mean by a loop? A loop, uh, let me just show you the syntax first of all, is for a while loop anyway, is while um, a certain condition is true. So we're sort of, you know, if you if you understand if statements, you should really understand this. We're saying while something is true, do something in here. So for example, at the moment, I'm going to say echo hello, and I'm going to break down a line. So while a certain condition is true, now if I was to just pop a 1 in here, it would be a pretty bad idea because 1 is always going to be true as we've discussed in previous videos, 0 is always going to be false. So we can run this one if we uh, refresh, uh, that's fine, nothing's happened, the page hasn't crashed. However, if we do while equals uh, while 1, this is always going to equal true, so we're probably going to crash the page in writing hello over and over again. Um, basically until infinity so it's an infinity amount of times or infinite amount of times rather however if we um, create a statement um, in here that allows at some point for it to evaluate to false but while we want it to evaluate to true we can sensibly echo this an amount of times so let's say I want to echo hello uh, 10 times I can create a counter up here and I'm going to start that at 1. Now what I want to do is I want this loop to echo uh, or I want this loop to execute, so run this block of code until 1 equals uh, 10. So we're e echoing once, um, twice, 3, 4, 5, all the way up to 10 times and then once this counter equals 10 we stop the loop therefore breaking this uh, this um, block of code here and we continue to the rest of our code down here. So if this doesn't make sense uh, follow along my example and hopefully it will do soon. So we'll get rid of the um, the uh, condition first of all and what I want to do is I want to say counter plus plus. Remember this is incrementing this value each time. So now we've for the first time probably uh, you may have found a use for incrementing. Obviously we can do counter e equals counter plus one, but for shorthand, counter plus plus. Now the condition will be when counter is, uh, or while counter is, w is smaller than or equal to 10. So what we want to do is say while counter is smaller than or equal to 10. Okay, and this is basically saying if counter equals one, run the loop. Now counter is going to equal two on this line, so counter will then equal two, and then we'll run this again. It's still smaller than ten, so say hello, and now counter equals three. So three, this still is blah 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 all the way up to nine. Now nine is still smaller than ten. We echo hello we increment the counter, it's 10. Now counter equals 10, so we run this, this will equal 11. So 11, now this condition is now rendered false. It's, it evaluates to false, so we're not going to execute this code in here. So hopefully that is a way of making sense to it for you. We're going to reset this counter back to 1, and we're going to refresh the page and see what happens. So now you can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 times we've echoed hello. And to prove this uh, sort of counter method inside, I'm going to append the variable counter onto the start of this hello. So this will actually say 1 hello, and then it will say 2 hello, and it will say 3, because we're incre incrementing this value each time. So it's basic logic. So let's refresh the page and see how that's worked. There we are. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, all the way up to 10. And you can now see, just by that example, that we're incrementing the value. Um, so the while loop will always have a condition at the start of it that will need to be evaluated before we even begin to process the block.